Hi everybody! I wanted to do a quick video to show you how I kind of use up my stash, especially of designer series paper, and make a whole stack of cards really quickly. Now this is the Share What You Love um, designer series paper that's retiring soon. So I wanted to kind of make a bunch of cards, get rid of it, make room on my shelf for other stuff. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. So I've got the designer series paper. I've also pulled out the embellishment kit because um, again, I've got some extra, they're retiring, I need to use it up. And then I've got some ribbon as well. I've got the um, Rich Razzleberry Velvet Ribbon, um, which is, um, I believe it's retiring as well. And then I've got some of the, um, I think this is Tranquil Tide as well, because again, that's a color that you see in this, um, and this designer series paper, now I believe this ribbon is actually retired, um, so you can't get this anymore, but you can still get the Rich Razzleberry one um, for now. All right, I've got some pearls as well. I've got a bunch of stuff you'll see out here. So the first thing I wanted to do is show you how I get these pieces of designer series paper. And this is super simple. So what I'm going to bring in is I'm going to bring in a new sheet of designer series paper and my trimmer. So I'm going to use this pattern here and I wanted to make vertical cards. So I'm going to be cutting it so that the vertical side is this way. And then I've got my trimmer. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut my long side. So I want this to be on what I'm going to have the long side of my card. And I'm just simply going to cut it to five and a quarter. Now if you're using metric, I'm sorry. This does still work, but I can't do the numbers as I go. So five and a quarter inches, and then I'm just gonna chop that off. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Now I've got this strip on the end here, and I'm gonna talk about that in a second, but we're just gonna put that aside for now. Now you've got these five and a quarter by 12 inch strips, and you're just gonna cut this to four inches. And this is perfect for that first layer of a card because our card bases are five and a half by four and a quarter. So that easily chops down. So you've got three there and three there. Now you've got six of that four by five and a quarter layer. Easy peasy. These are also easier to store. So even if you don't wanna make six cards from this right now, you can store these a lot easier. Now we have this extra strip here. This strip, you can do two things with it. You can either cut it to five and a quarter this way and use this strip um, on a card. Or what I like to do is I actually like to cut this down into four inch sections and then cut it down again. And this doesn't have to be precise, just into these smaller strips. I think it works out to three quarters of an inch is cutting it in half and then Chop that in half, and now I've got these little pieces for the insides of my cards. So what you'll end up with is you'll basically end up with two different, or three different types of um, designer series paper pieces. These big pieces for the front of your cards, a narrower um, long piece for the front of your card, um, and the little narrow pieces for the inside of your cards. Now I'm gonna show you, oh, I'm gonna show you one more thing before I put my trimmer away. Um, card bases. I get asked this all the time, how do you make card bases? Whatever card stock you're using, if you're using A4 or using 8.5 by 11, just think in halves each way. So I've got 8.5 by 11 because I'm in North America and that's what we have. So I've got halfway along the 8.5 and, and I've got halfway along the 11. So this is going to be, I'm going to do something at 4 and a quarter and I'm going to do something at 5 and a half because those are my halfway marks. Now, if you want a card that opens like a book, you're gonna to wanna to score along your long side. And if you want it um, that kind of does the little crocodile flappy, whichever side you wanna do that on. And I'm gonna show you both card um, styles. Oh, actually, I think I've got both card bases here. So if you want, this is like a book. So this is gonna be um, scoring at four and a quarter and cutting at five and a half. And then this one here, that's your Crocodile Flappy, um, this is gonna be cut at four and a quarter and scored at four and a half, at five and a half, sorry. So I'm gonna do these ones 
this and this is what I usually do I don't do a lot of the crocodile flappy cards I don't know why I actually like getting them because what you can do is you can hang them on blinds so I have in my craft room I have blinds on my window and the cards just like hang on there really nicely so that's kind of my blurb about card bases so now I've got two crumb cake card bases and I'm gonna use these so now when I'm putting cards together, I have all these little scraps and bits on here that I'm going to use. Oh, the other thing too, if you like, see how I've got white on the inside of this card base? This is, I get 12 by 12 Whisper White cardstock or vanilla, very vanilla. Um, and I do exactly the same thing as I did with the designer series paper. I will do with the entire pack. Okay, so now we've got the pieces that we wanted. Um, and we're gonna start putting them together. So what I've done, because I actually want to layer these up a little bit more, I've gone and I've just taken a little bit off each side of these, and I'm gonna layer it onto some just basic black cardstock here. So now my four by five and a quarter piece is actually my basic black. And then I'm going to layer this onto my card base. Always, always, always using a bone folder to fold it so you get that nice sharp crease. And then which way's up here? Oh, I think that way's up. Okay, so now we've got our card front. Now we could just leave it like this but I always like to put a sentiment on so when I cut my whisper white pieces I end up with these long strips so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp my sentiment onto there because then I can actually use that piece as well. So I'm gonna stamp my sentiment on here and then I'm just gonna actually chop this down into a manageable it's a bit bigger than I need it to be. Take that and then so I to chop off enough, but not too much. I'm just gonna line that up. Yeah, that's okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do with this is I'm quite simply going to take my snips if I can find them. They're hiding somewhere. There they are. And I'm just going to cut. Yeah. Now what I've done um, is I've taken some of my little strips of basic black and I've punched them out with that lace border. And this is a really nice way to just add some little scallops to any layer. So I'm just going to add those to the top here. Just by snailing them on. And I just want the little scallops to show on the top. And then again, I'll trim with my snips. And now this can go on here. I can put it on with dimensionals. Um, or just with my snail. I always like using dimensionals though. Give an extra little bit of pop. And I'm just going to pop that on there. And then it's never fully dressed without some bling. So I'm going to take my Artisan Pearls, and again, these are retiring as well. So if you like these, you want to get your hands on them, you got to do it now. And is it that? No, I don't think that's the color I want. What do I have? Aha! I wanted that rich Razzleberry. There we go. I have a few packets of these floating around in various pieces. Now don't forget that if all you have is plain white pearls, you can use your Stampin' Blends to color them whatever color blends you have. So 
So I've done that there. You can see with some purple. Okay, so there is a card done. Now, again, you can do a whole bunch of different layouts with these. This is one that I took a die cut of birthday. This one here, I just used one of those. Um, which McCall means the tags that are in the embellishment kit. And then I've got a bunch more layers here that I can play with. Um, and you can see I used some of that ribbon there, some of the embellishments from the from the kit. I just had another idea, so I'm gonna pop another card together here. This is another piece that I chopped down. So we're gonna layer that again onto the black. I like these when they're outlined like this, putting them onto the black. I don't know, it just gives that, that extra little pizzazz. Bit of an outline. Go the right way, yeah. So this one is going on to that mid macron. There we go. Now, what could we do with this? Tie a bow around it. Why not? Bows with this velvet ribbon are a little bit tricky because the ribbon's gonna be different on the two sides. Um, but you can still do it. If you're super picky, maybe not the best ribbon to do it with. So you can see I've got one of my tails is showing the other side of the velvet. Um, actually like this, so why don't I... I'm going to use another sentiment that I can put on there. What could I put on this? Like this, you mean the world to me. Reading upside down and backwards. There we go. Now this is a cling mount stamp, so I really actually want to mount it, but in the interest of not making you watch every little thing I'm doing, we just worked. that under there like that. Oh, and now I can use those other pearls. There we go. There's another card done. This one opens the other way. Alrighty. Now the nice thing about these embellishment kits, and I don't know if you figured this out yet, but they come in this nice box. And this box is designed to be the right size to fit a stack of cards in. So once you're done all your cards, you can just pop them into your little box, tie a ribbon around it or something, or just leave it like this. 
um, and you actually have a nice little gift set or for storing your own cards. So there you go. That is my project um, for this blog hop. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube or anywhere else, if you'd like to get any of these supplies while you still can, you can jump over to thecraftymedic.com. There's a link there to shop now and you can see photos of my cards as well. And I'll probably have a few extra, extra photos of extra cards there as well. All right, happy stamping.